Hi, Vishy from the School of Continuous Improvement. Um, in this uh, webinar, I'm not going to show you any tool. I'm uh, rather going to take you a question, uh, some of the questions that have been asked to me by uh, various people from time to time. A lot of questions have been asked, uh, but this session uh, will focus on key organizational prerequisites. Uh, now, these prerequisites are needed for any organization that wants to um, that wants to implement that 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 wants to start a six sigma or a lean six sigma culture um, in their organization. Um, <clears throat> so these uh, these factors do not do not guarantee the success or the failure of a lean six sigma um, um, initiative or a lean six sigma framework. So let's take a look at the prerequisites that are needed in the organization. Remember. If these prerequisites are not there in the organization, the probability of a Lean Six Sigma effort or a Lean Six Sigma framework failing increases dramatically. So there we are, uh, the key organizational prerequisites uh, that are uh, needed for starting Lean Six Sigma. Remember starting. Organizational readiness. Is the organization ready to adopt Lean Six Sigma as a process improvement or an operational improvement approach? What do you mean by readiness? We focus on three things, people, process and technology. Are people trained, well trained enough? Um, are the processes stable and repeatable? And uh, are the processes supported by a good technical intervention as well? Data systems. What do you mean by data systems? Obviously, uh, you must be knowing by now that Lean Six Sigma efforts often focus on a lot of data collection um, activities. Um, you pretty much validate everything and anything with the help of data. As they say, in God we trust. For everything else, uh, please bring data. So they need, they need, there needs to be a set of robust data systems that will uh, help supporting the the data capturing activity. Of course, top management support. If you do not have the the um, the wish and the support of the CEO or the general manager or whoever is there at the top level, then your Lean Six Sigma efforts can't even start. Not just top management support, but you also need the senior and the middle middle management commitment as well. Um, we've had organizations where uh, the top management was extremely supportive but then there was a lot of friction in the senior and the middle management towards Lean Six Sigma. All of these can be taken care of by by good change resistance uh, activities and uh, uh, communication. Point number five which is availability of funds. Now this is extremely important. Lean Six Sigma will give you benefits but in order to get those benefits especially the financial benefits you would need to invest um, in the implementation of projects. Uh, obviously, you, um, some of this investment will have to be upfront by means of training people and so on and so forth. Um, so yes, there, there has to be a certain financial investment which needs to be made by the company. Uh, and of course, this financial investment can vary from uh, complexity and the size of the company itself. <coughs> Last but not the least, um, the company needs to have a project management framework. Now, this project management framework uh, may may go tangential with uh, with Lean Six Sigma. Uh, as in, when you start implementing a Lean Six Sigma project, you will find that uh, a lot of some of the tools that you're going to be using in Lean Six Sigma, especially the work breakdown structure and the Gantt chart and all those that that show project progress will classically coincide with the project management principles. So yes, a project management framework is also considered an uh, important prerequisite for starting a Lean Six Sigma. Um, these six prerequisites are purely based on my experience and expertise with the Lean Six Sigma, um, with the Lean Six Sigma approaches over the last 11 to 12 years. If you do have any other uh, prerequisites that you may want to add to this whole uh, uh, points you you can write into Vishy at the rate school of CI dot org. This video is being uploaded to YouTube, so you could also share your comments on the comment section of the YouTube video. That's about it from me for this time. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short webinar, and see you next time. Thank you.